Today I'm going to show you how to make this cable roller. All you need is a drill and a few bits of steel. I'm going to cut two lengths of water pipe, 600mm long. So I'm using a 5 inch angle grinder with a 1mm blade. These suckers should only be used for cutting, not for grinding. Otherwise, you end up with a hand like this and a surgery that looks like this. Make sure that you have a handle on it and only use it for cutting. Here comes safety Sam. Let's gear up. Hopefully you'll notice that I'm wearing safety goggles. It's astounding how many times I've had one of these explode in my face. Next, I'm going to take a piece of 40 millimeter rectangular hollow section, uh, cut two pieces 600 mil long. Notice I'm using vernier calipers with no digital display. I have three pairs of vernier calipers, two of them have flat batteries. I'm going to drill a hole in my 40mm rectangular hollow section just big enough to clear my uh, water pipe which turns out to be 27 millimeters I think it is so I'm putting a 30 millimeter drill through it I've measured in about 50 mil. It's really not that critical. And I've put the bed of the uh, pedestal drill on a 10 degree angle, which is also not that critical. So we have one hole up about 250 mil, not that critical, and another hole at 10 degrees at 90 degrees to the original hole. We have a hole for our uh, stand and we have another one for the bar. You might notice I've got an extra hole in here. The industry expression for that is a fuck up. <laughs> I've got no spare steel. <laughs> So we've rocked up at our local wholesalers to uh, just test these little suckers out and see how they go. Alright, now we have 100 metres of 25mm 2 core and earth. 